Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, this is just gonna be more of a regular vlog of that sort. So, anyways, about a couple weeks ago, um, I got something from the mail and it was an invitation to the next door community app as far as that goes and uh, a few years ago when uh, Simon Hat ran out it was where I ended up talking to one of the neighbors that that lived in on the other street that has the same house as the house I already mentioned about the next door app so anyways so I got on there and it was about the other day where I was doing my walk as far as that goes and I heard like some uh, woman crying and yelling and it was at the end of the, the cul-de-sac on the other street and I was sharing that sort of thing with mom when I got back and well I heard like some noise prior to that you know so that was the thing there so anyways I posted on the community there as far as that goes and so anyways it's one of the things that I have mentioned on occasion about my eyes as far as that goes where that I can't really see that well as far as that goes so in that sort of sense you know every time when I type something on line so I tend to misspell things or or not punctuate things correctly you know and so that is like the bigger problem when it comes to that and so I get criticized for that matter because you know some people are just you know grammar Nazis and all that and so basically there was somebody that was just being a grammar Nazi you know questioning if I ever really been educated and I had gone around and told them off about about the fact that I have glaucoma and keratoconus and both my eyes and so I can't see that well and then some other person kind of came in and, and told that other person off that that gee you're being all judgmental and all that you know and it's just the thing there you know what I mean so considering all of that 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 was like the case but I think it's just for the most part people do kind of understand what I'm talking about like when I'm like typed out on that sort of thing there is just you know the grammar Nazis and those type of people you know that that feel that they should dictate on proper grammar and punctuation never mind the fact that there are certain people who have a hard time you know type in do 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 like problems with their vision and others like which they would have a uh, um, dexterity issues as far as that goes is you know if they have problems with uh, with their hands and all that you know what I mean? So, it goes into, like, this other kind of story that was on one of those Reddit stories there and where a bartender had thought this one guy was drunk because he was slurring his speech, but it was just that it had cerebral palsy, and so that was the problem why they couldn't speak that well and 
in a way, that was kind of like the problem that I had growing up. You know, that I couldn't really speak that well because being an Aspie kid, you know. And that's kind of like the thing, you know, with a lot of kids that are on the, on the spectrum, they have problems with speech as far as that goes because it's, it's like one of the areas of the brain that doesn't really develop uh, fully just yet with unlike other other NT people you know so that was like the thing there so anyways um I remember there was this one episode of Super Nanny and where one of the families that they were visiting there and then this one kid I think he was about three and then he was showing signs of having uh, having Asperger's as you now that he was he is not speaking as far as that goes and so um, Joe brought in this uh, child uh Psychologist, I mean, a speech. She's more like a speech pathologist because she was all also has a way of like teaching them how to speak better and all of that. Although Joe knows a little how to tell them how to speak, but not really like the advanced parts of that, you know. But she was like uh, teaching the parents how to make them like speak because to kind of prompt them and and to like do a certain word like tickle or swing or whatever as far as that goes. So that was like the thing there. But it was one of the stories that... Um, that my parents had told me about that because I didn't really start speaking until like I was about uh, maybe like three or four but where I would just say some words but I don't really do full sentences and it was around the time when I was like about five when I started doing full sentences you know so that was the thing there you know so, anyways, I do remember, like, seeing one of the spa uh, speech pathologists during uh, school, I think up until maybe, like, fourth, maybe fifth or sixth grade, where it uh, to helped me pronounce the S's and the T-H, it sounds better, you know. Because that was my problem growing up, where I had the problems with the S's and the THs or the Z's or something like that, you know. And that was like the thing there. But considering all of that, you know, it was, I think it was one of my... I think it was one of my cousins is a, a speech pathologist, I think, but I don't really remember ex the exact story. You know, but they, but I remember it's like two of my cousins are teachers or something like that, and then two of my aunts are teachers. You know, but I think it was uh, a couple of other relatives were like that, but, which I don't really remember it quite exactly, you know, but that is like the thing there. So, anyways, um, I guess that's probably it. So, talk to you guys later.